Previously, on the lineage of Moonreach, we found out that all the people that Gorbel has slain with her wolf blood blade have, in fact, come back and are now werewolves. The only interest, the really interesting twist, rather, is that they are completely subservient to her and keep calling her queen. So that's cool. We found out that the things that Tomar and Gorbel saw in their visions have disappeared. And somebody who smells like onions and boiled leather is a, evidently scooping these up and took them to the cave. And we went down in the well that Tomar saw his father Gorm throw a little pouchy pouch into. Turns out it's not a well. It's a huge cavern full of gunky, gunky evil. And we found a cave opening that was carved to look like the mouth of a demon. Explored that, went down a couple levels. It's all twisty turny like intestines. And now it seems like it's coming alive. And the last thing that we heard sounded like a wave of the gunky evil headed our way. The D20 Syndicate presents The Lineage of Moonreach. Welcome back to the D20 Syndicate Podcast. Hey, hey nerds! Hey. Hello. It was aggressive. I liked it. I didn't. Don't do that again, <laughs> Billy. <laughs> Make over real sad. Aww. She is a queen. <laughs> you dubbed her royalty. You fucked up. But I thought DM was higher than queen. No. No. Sorry. You fucked up, son. Queen beats DM. It's like chess. Yep. What's the DM? Just get back to your corner, Night. please. Dick magnet. <laughs> <laughs> you can move L patterns. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well, the rest of you are all pawns. We are a Dungeons and Dragons 5e actual play podcast. I am your host and DM, Seth. And around the table, we have our players. I'm Billy, and I'm a pawn. I'm Tomas. I'm a rook. I'm L- Lindsay, and I don't play chess. And I'm Michaela, and I guess I'm the queen. Nice. Yeah. And uh, their characters are Willem, Tomar, Pinwin, and... And I'm Gorbel. <laughs> respectively. If you don't um, know by episode 83... What if it's their first episode? You're broken. Get out. Go back to Gunky Evil. Yeah, we, Otherwise, none this of this is going to be evil. Here. We've I know been over we this. Get out See, of take them. You fucked up. You are listening to the wrong Go one. Go away. Don't listen to them, everyone. Have you guys we seen Space you. Jam? <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, yeah, so we're in episode 83, and um, we are, yes, very, very far... Uh, into this campaign. We're close to the end. And so if this is your first listen, first foray into our world, please go back to episode one, Gunky Evil, and check it out. Uh, It'll be relevant considering what's going on in this episode as well. Um, Yeah, that's that's it. That's kind of Good night, guys. It came back 81 episodes later. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. We definitely have mentioned it multiple times. Several times. times. Have we? Yes. But, I don't but it like hasn't actually come back right. into the story. Now it's there. We're in a mouth. We're in. We're technically like in the probably lower intestines. Are we gonna like run through? I feel like this is magic school bus. <laughs> <laughs> well, how many miles have we gone? Five hundred miles. Huh? How long is a human intestine? Isn't it like forty-three feet? Ninety leagues. And this isn't a human. <laughs> this is a demon uh, thing. Yeah, and it's presumably bigger than a human intestine. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Maybe it's really short. Yeah, <laughs> maybe they had a surgery done. It's cut a, off the colon. <laughs> it's a demon Devito. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's your campfire question for us? Well, I thought we were in the middle of talking. Oh, I thought that was the end. This is the end. This is a story of a girl. Now I seem like an ass. Uh, who cried a river and drowned the whole the world. Whole world. Whole. She looks so sad Not in photographs. Half the world. But I absolutely love her. When she. <laughs> Smiles. Why didn't she smile Smiles. in photographs? Because she was depressed. But she, she, she smiled other river. times because he said he smile. loved her when she smiled. Also, the precedent that you only love someone when they smile. Yeah, what? Right. <laughs> I know. I, I only recently <laughs> really Analyzed started thought about that song and I was just like, Why? he doesn't say that he only loves her yeah, when she but smiles. But he absolutely does. He absolutely loves yeah. So he's not sure the other times? That's kind of sad. I don't know. Or maybe it's just not completely... He's like, eh, I hate this okay. part of you. <laughs> I guess we'll settle yeah. with this part. Yeah, it's actually kind of a really 
Really bummer song. Wow. About being in a relationship with somebody who might be manic depressive. Yeah. <laughs> and just <laughs> dealing with that and <laughs> wanting to be like, fuck it. But that catchy tune, though. <laughs> it is, is so catchy. <laughs> and I, I really do like the solo in that. It's really simple, but it's very effective. Now it's time for the Around the Campfire <laughs> question. Do you like Vertical Horizon? <laughs> That's not Vertical Horizon. Yes or no? It's not. But they definitely could be. It definitely could be a Vertical Horizon song. Mm, no. What if we start running so. out of ideas and Seth just one day like, do you like red? <laughs> no. I turned on an oldie station the other day, like a classic Vertical rock station. Horizon. No, but Goo Goo Dolls were on there. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that oh, happens now? Yeah. yeah, it's like 20 years. Yeah, I knew that, whatever. but it was it. was I've just never heard them. I mean, Goo Goo Dolls have been around for like 30 years now. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of it's weird. Yeah, strange. All right. Tonight's Around the Campfire question is... That's a weird fire. Oh, the mushies. Oh. <clears throat> what is your character's greatest achievement? Didn't we already do this? Yeah, I feel like we did. What is your character's <laughs> favorite class in the world other than their own? Oh. You the mean the upper like middle class? class? <laughs> as far yeah. as D D? Yeah. Oh. I was gonna say math. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> so we'll start with uh Pinwin. <gasps> what does Pinwin think the coolest? Let's say occupation, or I don't know how you would do that in the world. Specialist? Yeah, which, what do you think, what's Penguin's favorite specialization for a person to have? <laughs> gardener. Backdoor blowout. <laughs> gardener. <laughs> I really like gardeners. <laughs> Horticulturalist. Probably whatever Voce is. He can ride dragons and like, can I don't know befriend them and train them and I don't know that's really cool but then he also can do the bow stuff and then Crossbow. he's also super acrobatic what class is Voja? he's a uh, multi-class that makes he's, sense well lift the veil he's a Humphrey Bogart no. lift the veil. <laughs> really you'll see he's a Humphrey Bogart <laughs> we'll see are Ooh. you gonna show us everybody's character sheets at the end I'll show you a, a number of them yeah sure Ooh. <laughs> you looked really happy. Really. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely not deep down. Well, I absolutely yeah. love you when you smile. Yeah. <laughs> it's about you, Billy. It is it's easier to like somebody when they're smiling. <laughs> wow. Wow. I learned something today. <laughs> Before you smiled, I was just like, man, look at Billy over there. Stab Damn him. asshole. <laughs> Cheer Stab up. Him. Stab you him. should smile more. Yeah. Um, it's true. Yeah. You should smile more. Gorble. <laughs> it's for everybody um, listening. Favorite class. Yeah. Besides my own. Besides your own. You can't pick your own. Ah, uh, fuck. Um, I would say rogue. Yeah? Why? Sneaky sneaks. Mm. Okay. That'll be so fun. I'm kind of large to sneak right now. Mm. I'm you large to sneak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you're really fast. Large to sneak yeah. band name dibs. <laughs> you should have a decent bonus to stealth. What was the band name that I came up with yesterday? I don't know. It sucked. <laughs> <laughs> it was stupid. You're like, oh, you thought of a good band name, and it, it she was, said something stupid. It was so good. <laughs> Immediately disregarded. <laughs> yeah. Catch up. Oh, um, it was per. Uh, no. Just, no. Just move perpetual. on. Perpetual. <laughs> I already hate it. Something mm. about like perpetual. I don't know. I'll have to penis, think about it. Perpetual penis. It was super stupid, yep. but. Sounds All right, right. Yeah. Willem, what is your preference outside of your own? Warlock. And why is that? Mm. Uh, I like the idea of the magics and using them to get dope powers. This was like an in-character question, right? Yes. Okay, because out of character, different answer. Mm. What's your out of character answer? Druid. Oh, okay, mm. yeah. Really? Yeah. Tomar. Um... Hmm. What if Tomar got a tumor? <laughs> a tumor? <laughs> Sorry about that. Tumor, Tomar. I don't know if I've Swear encountered it. I don't know if I've encountered it in the world or not, but if I did, I would say an artificer for Tomar. Mm. Just because they have a lot of the same themes that a forge cleric in particular has, like creating stuff and making it come to life, and uh, definitely would be an artificer. Um, nice. Other than that, Maybe Paladin. Uh, what is Mandoran? Wizard. wizard. Evil wizard. You're, You're a wizard, Mandoran. 
Penwin also likes wizards. He claims to be a wizard. Because mm. Seth didn't acknowledge Ooh. us when we said wizard. Mm. He's making a face. I'm not making that's any a, face. No, that's a face. Mm, that's I'm not a face. face. Yeah, that's that's, you're a face. That's <laughs> definitely yeah. your, uh, these dumb oh, fucking idiots face. think they know what's up. I feel like I make that 90% of the time. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's actually kind of your <laughs> It's <default>. been confirmed. <laughs> Mandoran is a barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> that's uh, why he's shit at explaining anything to us. <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh, mm, 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 <laughs> just smashing things together. <laughs> use the things that I gave you. How do you use the lantern? You I don't know. Use the lantern. <laughs> no, I don't. I. I'm Andor. Bites into a coconut. He's the fucking. Old, he's the old guy that's in the stocks in uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yes. What a weird wizard. Crossed with Rafiki at, <laughs> at his like weirdest. So, that's all for squash banana. Can all right. Cut it out. You go right back. Oh man, I need a caffeine. Oh. Somebody spook her. <gasps> was that you? No, that was me. Oh, <laughs> you were looking I, right at I me. I thought it was Billy. I, was totally <laughs> 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 I got her. <laughs> um, all right. All right. So let's get started here. Whoa. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> 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 Dad. <laughs> no, no, <it's>, ah! <laughs> this is going to get old real fast. This whole episode lets us try and sneak in a spook. That's going to be the worst. Somebody's so driving down the highway. <laughs> <laughs> Swerves off the road. We just killed Josh. <laughs> so you guys are in Struggling this. to breathe. You guys are in this tunnel. And uh, things have gotten glowy and esophagus <laughs> uh, esophagus are and we scaring Seth now? I wanted to but <laughs> didn't pan out you gotta, um, you gotta boop him on the nose please don't I don't know uh, <laughs> you do some on the back nose what? <laughs> Is on ass? Goose, <laughs> goose him on the back nose uh, <laughs> the whole fuck sentence. does that mean? <laughs> so also anatomy is a thing in question yep, here. Yep, never took it. <laughs> never took the class. You know, the back nose. Goose him on it. <laughs> Goose him on the back nose. What do you, I don't know what you guys don't get. Goose him on the back nose. <laughs> oh, oh, God damn it. It sounds like a lyric to a Bush song. <laughs> Goose him on the back nose. Chewbacca oh. is not a wolf. Chewbacca is not a wolf. Okay. Chewbacca is not a wolf. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get started. <laughs> um, and on that note, you guys are in this twisting, turning, uh, Tur- tunnel. Twisting, turning. Tur- yes. And uh, yeah, everything looks very fleshy. It looks very bile And uh, now you've got this. So Tomar's s- there, but what does the tunnel look like? <laughs> oh, oh. What a. We've got a. Uh, <laughs> A, su- <laughs> a tsunami of liquid. Uh, He's gonna com- scare you. Coming at you. So, what would you guys like to do in this? How moment? quickly is it coming at you? Pretty quick. Um, does it look like it would knock us asunder? Potentially, it's big. Tomar, Tomar, maybe maybe fly. And it's flying. only coming out. Is it coming at Faster? us from? Where we were progressing towards? No, where you were coming from. Where we were coming from. So you're farthest away from it. Oh. And it's it's encapsulating yes. the entire... Are you going okay. to make us go out the back door? I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> I'm going to initiate my rocket boosters. I'm going to turn on the nitrous and I'm going to fucking fly. You're going to fly? Yeah. Okay. Towards... Fly, Rome. you fool! Okay, I'm going to run. All right, you guys start running. Uh, give me... Everybody give me, well, Willem, you give me a dex save. Tomar, you give me a dex save at disadvantage because you're carrying two people. 27. Can I give him bardic inspiration or is it too late? Too late. <sighs> but he has all of our love. Mm-hmm. Okay, all you can give him bardic inspiration. Love. Yes. Okay. Mwah. Oh, wait, I don't have to roll. I just wanted to roll for fun, I think. Ten. <gasps> really? Yes. Plus, Could I have done my bardic. Did you do plus bardic? Yes. Cool. <laughs> it was at disadvantage. Jeez. I got a two. Yeah. Oh. And I also do my. Why do you do that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. because I wanted to see what happened. <laughs> Tomar. The wave is catching up to you very quickly. 
18. Okay. <sighs> and with the Gorbel's help and <laughs> Pinwin's help, because you were just, we'll say you were like, oh, fuck. <laughs> you watched it for a second too long, so it started catching up to you. Uh, Pinwin and Gorbel have given you Bardic Inspiration now, and you are suddenly able to just get ahead of it. Yes. Oh, since I now have... Um my truth speaker boon, bardic mm-hmm. inspiration affects all allies within 60 feet. Nice. Oh, what is Pinwin's boon that he got? Oh, yeah. Pinwin, you have the boon of multi shot. You can now maintain concentration on up to three instances of Hunter's Mark. You still have to cast them separately. When you make a ranged weapon attack against one of the creatures you have marked, you also make an attack against all other creatures you have marked as long as they're in range and you are able to see them. Holy fuck. Oh, what shit. What was that called again? Boon of multi shot. Jesus. Multi-shot. You're like Yondu. Sick. Ooh, exciting. Thank you for saying that. So Sometimes it, I hear oh, things yeah, yeah. and it doesn't matter. So it would take you right three away. bonus actions to cast all of your hunter's marks, but then after that, you could shoot three arrows at a time each time and hit them for bonus damage. You have now gained the title of Slayer. Whoa. Slayer. Penwin. <laughs> Penwin the Slayer. What was the dragon thing? I think my kidneys just failed. What was, was my uh, name with the dragon? Dragon Master. Dragon Master Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you have a dragon super Master dope Slayer. arrow related thing too? Mm hmm. Yeah, you do. Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-mm. What? What was your boon? You have something with arrows. Yeah, I'm you got yeah, boon, boon of the phase arrow. <laughs> I have a phase arrow. <laughs> All right, yeah. so you guys are racing along with this giant wave following you. Yeah. Go, go, go. I'm you guys faster. run around the bend, or you fly around the bend, and you guys are in another turning hallway. This one forks. What? You fucking asshole. That's right is right. Digestive tracks work. <laughs> That's how this tunnel works. I'm going to go left. Willem goes left. <gasps> all right, you all go left. Give me another deck save, right everyone. Right, or Tomar and uh, Willem. And, of course, yours is at disadvantage. Oh, you would have had 20? Poop. 17 plus guidance. 19. 19. All right. 22. All right. You guys are staying ahead of this. Um, Well, actually, let's see how well ahead of it you are. Pretty well ahead. I'm going to stop using this. Um, Yeah. Okay. So you guys are staying pretty well ahead of it, uh, actually gaining some speed on it. It seems to be keeping a consistent speed while you guys are getting faster. You guys go down the left path, and it starts to get really narrow. Mm, I told you right was right. And uh, eventually it gets to a point where you guys will have to be traveling single file. Who wants to go first? I can go first. Yeah, Why do you look you concerned? Able, you won't be able to carry that. You're arrows. hopping down. He said he'd go first. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Let him go. Tell me what order you guys are in. I'll go last. I'll go first, and I'll see I'll if there is any dangerous I'll stuff. I'll go third. Okay. So Pinwin, Gorbel, Willem, Tomar. Gotcha. All right. Now everyone give me a deck save. Tomar, you're no longer at disadvantage. I have been rolling like shit, so here we <clears> go. <throat> I think it's time to switch up. Yeah. I made a mistake. 25, <laughs> 19, 20, 17. Okay, everyone's still doing pretty good. You guys are moving pretty quickly through this uh, little section here. Um, you finally get get through, and there's a much <laughs> wider path on the other side. And it, as you can see off in the distance, it's still very esophageal. Uh, but now there's four paths up oh ahead of gosh. you. Oh, my gosh. Second from the left. Can I try to do a really fast, like... Survival check? Yeah. Okay. To see which sure. path is... Path of least resistance. There we go. Oh, I'm a halfling. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. I guess even with... Okay. Anyway. Um, 29? 29. Wait. No. 17. 28. <laughs> 28. Okay. That's number one. Wait, how many numbers was that? <laughs> <laughs> so 28? Yes. Okay. You just have it in your gut that the far right path right is right didn't is the one to go to right is right let's go why okay (laughs) (laughs) don't ask why no time okay so you guys follow (laughs) penwin uh down there and as you guys reach that path you hear a (laughs) and all of a sudden the liquid that was chasing you sprays out at top speed everyone give me a deck save this was the good path. Mm. 
17. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, but I'm proficient in dicks. I bet you're proficient in dicks. <laughs> 29. 23. Well, I would hope so, if you have one. 21. <laughs> <laughs> Just spraying everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess I some people aren't. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> it sprays, but you guys all make it in before it hits the wall, and you guys find that the minute you get into that pathway, it drops off. Nice. Uh, just a steep drop, slimy. You guys oh. start sliding down there, except for you, Tomar. You're floating behind everybody. Um, Must be nice. <laughs> but you guys I, fall for a while. Can I put the brakes on? With my with my shoes, you can yeah, you can try. Cool, I do that. So, Willem, you stop and put the brakes on. Gorble and Penwin, you continue to tumble as you two are in the front. Is and there like wool I could try to bounce off of? To you could try. In the blow- okay. You are obsessed <clears throat> with the I'm, bouncing. I haven't athletic. done it yet. Mm-hmm. So, so, the, so, is the gunk still following us? No, uh, you don't know. Right now, you said it stopped. Well, it. It sprayed out, but it didn't hit you. Sorry, I should specify. My bad. It may still be following you. Would I be rolling acrobatics? What are you trying to do? Kind of like parkour off the walls with my boots. Yeah, it could be it could be athletics or acrobatics. I'm not trying to parkour, but I am trying to stop myself. Okay. Mm-hmm. That get uh, like how are you trying to stop yourself? Like balance? Yeah. yeah by balancing and yeah, you're like catching acrobatics. myself. Okay. So yeah, give me acrobatics. What did you two get? Twenty seven. Okay. 15. 15. Parkour, parkour. Okay, so yeah, you start sliding a little bit, but you're able to stop yourself, and then pin when you're... Boop, 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 and then you're able to, like, <laughs> hit each side and stay in one spot. That's about the best way that you're able to keep yourself from falling. So you guys are hovering... Thank you, cat boots. Or clinging to the esophagus. How what do you far of a do? drop is it? So far, you've dropped about 40 feet, but it looks like a long way down. Oh, wow. Um, so nothing is pressing right now. Nothing is, like, happening. You, you haven't seen anything, but chances are your intuition could probably tell you that if you don't move soon, something's going to happen. Is the wall still fleshy and weird? Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm going to wait for Pinwin to make his rounds back over to my area, and I'm just going to scoop him up real <laughs> okay. quick so he doesn't have to keep doing that. Yeah, Gorbel, just drop down <laughs> onto my back. Did you see my sweet parkour? Well, you're above her. As I float down, I say <laughs> that. Okay. Again. Okay, blood trust. <laughs> Woo! All right. So now you guys are coupled up here. Um, what do you want to do? Descend. Go down. All right. So Descend uply. You guys start heading down, and it takes a little bit, but you're noticing that the liquid is not pursuing you at the moment. Mm. And you finally get to the end of this tunnel, and it opens up. Above a pit of spikes. What? This was the good one. Above the pit right of spikes? Right. Yeah, you guys are about mm, 50 feet above a pit of spikes. Is there any other area to go? Yes. You can see off, like, over and under, you can see that there is a platform, a stone platform and a doorway. I choose to bypass the spikes. Okay. That was a good choice. <laughs> Thanks. I'm going to use Pinwin as a pillow, and I'm just going to fall right <laughs> into the spikes now. I'm going to fucking spider walk on the ceiling gotcha. over to the platform. All right, so you guys make it over to the platform, and you are in front of another demon door. Does it have a P and a heart? It does not. This one, it looks to be made of stone. There's no handle that you can see, but there's a face carved into it. I mean, last time was a big mistake, but I feel like we probably should continue... At this point. Well, we can't go back, so. Yeah. I look for booby traps. All right, give me investigation. <laughs> 21. 21. Oh. Um, you do see that the uh, there's a small, like almost like incision in the stone right at like the base of the doorway. It looks like something could potentially come out or shoot out of it. So you might want to. I look Watch for, out for that. I look for pressure plates. Okay. You do not see a pressure plate on the platform or anywhere around. It's probably some other kind of mechanism. I look for trip wires. <clears throat> you do not see a trip wire. Can I do an arcana check to see if it's like a proximity spell? Uh, yeah, give me an arcana check. Reliable talent, baby. 21. <laughs> you do feel, you're, you do sense that 
it's probably something magical that would activate. Okay. Guys, there's a there's a little hole right here. I'm afraid that some spiky things are going to pop out or maybe a gas will get triggered if we get too close to it. Uh, I feel like it's triggered via magic, so I don't know if anybody has anything that could stave that off or um. if we could just... I don't know how close we have to get to it for it to activate. Maybe we could try and avoid it, but there it is. I take my light crossbow from Pinwin and I throw it through the doorway. Uh, the doorway is closed. Oh, do it's it's a stone doorway. door. It's a doorway that's closed. <laughs> <to> <laughs> it's, it's got a it's got a stone door with a face carved into it. <laughs> this Inside one's an the actual door. Mouth. This yeah. one's not just a cave. I huck it at the door. Uh, you huck the crossbow. Yes. At that moment, a plume of some magical color pops out of the hole and <laughs> starts sizzling in the air right in front of the door and then disperses. Ooh. The crossbow has been completely disintegrated. Whoa. Whoa. Somebody ordered the fajitas. <laughs> oh, man. I liked it. I never shot that, but man, I bought <laughs> that <laughs> thing. Why'd you throw it all recklessly? Have, like, well, it's better than running at it. I've learned some things. I mean, you we could have thrown shit. a chalk. Yeah. No, don't get rid of the chalk. It's fine. I, I, have I never used chalks, it. That's, I think. I considered it low risk. Uh, can we just dispel this? I he said exasperatedly. I don't have dispel magic. Um, I pretty much can do a lot of stuff visually, but not like I Oh. Am I able to magically disarm this trap? Mm. Well, without oh. knowing, it's inside the proximity, so you would have to figure out what that would be. I will Could cast I use dispel survival? magic at seventh level oh. on the, the oh. trap. Or can I use survival to disarm it? No. Um... Even though it's you cast a spell at seventh level. Mm -hmm. The trap is disarmed. Woo! Tight. That's how it's done. <laughs> and I run at the door. <laughs> you run at the door? Yeah. Does it, it is do a, anything? No, it is a stone door. But when you get right up next to it, like. Do you stop? Do you hit it? I, as Tomar is racing towards the door and I am on his back, I remind him that is a stone door. I hold my <laughs> shield out. <laughs> so Maybe you, stop. So you bash the ah! door. <laughs> Didn't you just do that to a wall and he got super hurt? <laughs> he also just said he learned his lesson. <laughs> um, you, you collide with the door and it is very, very sturdy. But at that moment you hear... <laughs> and the face on the door <gasps> begins to move. Who are you? Who are you? Who disturbs my slumber? <laughs> Who are you? Um. I'm Dreg. Speak uh. your true names. But who are you? Speak your true names. I'm Tomar. I'm Of Gorble. Clan Iron Fist, the Ascended, the Rekindled, I'm Last Hope of the Dwarves, Garadwed. Daenerys, Stormborn, <laughs> Breaker of Chains, Sucker of Dicks, I Mother of Flagons. You were done. I probably have other names. Let me think. <laughs> Dickweed. I'm Gorble. No, that's it. Go on. That's all that's all I have. I'm Pinman. Um I'm Dragon Master Slayer? <laughs> I think. What, 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 what were Pinwin's names? Dragon Master? Is that one of them? Okay. And Dragon Slayer. Master Slayer Bader. <laughs> <laughs> I am Willem the Phantom. Very well. What's your name? I have no name. Patrick Warburton. What <laughs> are you? I am but a door. <laughs> cool. Can we go Most through you? Most doors don't talk. What what's what are behind we entering? you? A passage. Well, to if he's what? if he's letting us in, let's just go in. Do we need the door's I mean, backstory? I'm back door. I don't think so. <laughs> back asking story. what's behind him. Behind the door, myself, and behind the me, <laughs> is great perilous danger. How would you really know? You're only facing this way, right? I was created to protect the village above. From what is within. You're kind of far away from the village. Oh. I restrain what That's is within us. inside. So is there a not dangerous way to go? This is the only way. 
Okay. How many so, others have been through here? One other. Ever? Ever. Did they make it Whoa. through? Who created you? Mm. Let's ask him what were everything th- at once. Yeah. What were their names? Those who created me are nameless, like myself. I don't think that's what he was asking, Dor. It's not, but that's useful too, kind of. The the other people or the other person that passed through, what was their name? True name, Miralak. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. God, God damn, damn it. Told you. What was your question, Penwin? Mm. <laughs> Dorble? <laughs> <laughs> what was your question? You were asking something. He already answered. Oh. You when you're to pass, you must answer one question. You just said we could go. You interrupted me. <laughs> <laughs> You're very rude, all of you. <laughs> it's habit. Each. One question each? One question. Is it the same question or a different question? Can the person? answers be wrong? Can we just <laughs> annoy this door till it opens? Is this a quiz? I'm not good at quizzes. When did Miralak pass through? He passed through recently. Mm-hmm. And Are you a back door or a front door? Ever. I am. A back door. <laughs> nice. <laughs> can you smell? I cannot smell. I went now are stupid. <laughs> questions. Okay, yes. Doors said the talk. Yeah, yeah, door. Door. <laughs> Doors can't smell. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. I stabbed the door. <laughs> Tomar of Glen Iron Fist. Yes. Mr. Door. <laughs> what was planted? village above to celebrate the union of hobgoblin and human peach uh, trees you may enter <laughs> yes That's the door slides oh, open no, so and you're allowed entry ha ha and then i dance in we, we leave, leave. <laughs> <laughs> we leave <laughs> it closes right behind him oh. so there's there's some ground for me to stand on yeah okay okay yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was the original name of the village above? Son of a fuck. No. That's kind of mean because she wasn't there for that episode. She listened to it. Racking my brain. Yeah, but I didn't take notes on what I listened to. Yeah, I don't know these things. I was there, right? I don't. I told you. Mmm, Kalu. <laughs> it slides open. Diagonally. Huh. Fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> and then once she Tomar steps still in, dancing like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it closes behind her. Uh, yeah, please ask what my name is. Like, can that be the question? You are not of the village above. Uh, what? That's not a question. <laughs> That's not a question. That's a statement. What does that mean? What is the name of the village above currently? We're in Moonreach. Willem. Wait, did I not get in? <laughs> the door nope. does not open. Willem, what color is the lineage stone of the village above? Red. <laughs> it opens up. You can see those two dancing on the other side. Oh, no. I, I did not go through. <laughs> Do you not go through? I wanted to grab Pinwin and try and rush through. Okay, the door's open. Is it going to disintegrate me? It Come might. on in. It actually might. Uh, Pinwin. Just think carefully. Okay. We also have telepathic bond. Yeah. So don't, before you say anything, confer with us. Okay. Yeah, we can cheat. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid door, don't know shit. <laughs> All right, I walk through. It closes. Pinwin, you are alone <gasps> on the platform. No. Um, door? <laughs> can I get another question? Pinwin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. We get second chances. This is your last chance. (laughs) (laughs) You are not of the village above. No. My questions do not pertain to you. Why do you wish to enter the chamber beyond? Um, I'll telepathic bond that. Do I I tell him? You find that when you reach out with telepathic bond, it does not reach the others. You are totally alone in this. Um, for love and friendship? Love and friendship? Yeah. (laughs) He slides open. (laughs) You loser. (laughs) (laughs) It slides open, and you can see the others on the other side. I'm going to run through. 
and your telepathic bond works again. The power of love. The power of love. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> We're all the just damn bad at sounding. everything you want. He's everything you want. So you guys continue <laughs> down the pathway, I assume? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a short one. Oh. And cool. you guys enter into a very beautiful, like, blue and white marble chamber with Ooh. torches lining the walls. There is a raised dais, and there is a swirling portal above the raised dais. Mm. It's about 100 feet away from you. There are no windows, but there are dozens of murals along the walls depicting different epochs of Moonreach's history. No gunky evil? There's no gunky evil at all. Wow. This was supposed to be a short trip. Does it look maintained, like, fresh? No dust or anything? Yeah, it doesn't seem too dusty. I gotta tell you guys, I don't know what the hell we're doing right now. Mirror lock! I smack Willem on the back of the head. <laughs> I become visible. <laughs> <laughs> now I smack Willem on the back of the head. <laughs> now that I can see him. Um, Where's the portal go? Well... I wouldn't have become visible if you hadn't smacked me. Okay, I started Are you looking even, around. Do you stay invisible until you choose to? Like, since you were in darkness before? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, be, he can become invisible in darkness. Because it's not know. dark anymore, right? Yeah, Okay. but he's still invisible. Yeah, okay. It's just a trigger. Until taking another action. Okay. Does this portal look like the other portals we've been through? Uh, this one looks more like a tear, but it does seem very similar to the one you saw in Earth Valley. Or, sorry, Heart Valley. Oh. Do we go in this time? Penwin tried to go in, but we Is that kept the him one there. I stuck my head into? Does Can we see into the portal at all? You can't, no. Hmm. It might be like the one at Heart Valley. We never figured out where that was mm. that it led to. Yeah, were we supposed to go in? Pinwin was making the right choice. Do you remember what it looked like in there? Um, In my brain, I picture like the fields in Wizard of Oz, but weren't they like dead? Um, No, there wasn't. Yeah, there was a, like kind of featureless. There was like a uh, like a pinkish sky. Like it was like a reddish oh, yeah. color of some some hue. Um, and just kind of like blank and barren. So maybe that's what you're thinking of. Yeah. There wasn't like anything. Okay. Yep. I think there was gray grass. I described it as, but yeah, mm-hmm. like a like a dark charcoal colored gl- grass. Are there okay. anything on these paintings that give us insight further into the history of something we might not have known, or anything that could offer us information about where we are? Um. If you were to examine them, they seem to be very similar to the ones you've seen before. Um, Does one of them have a large creature with shining red eyes? Yeah. Does one of them have a horse and cart with a sack between them? Yeah. Does one of them have a completely destroyed city with fire? Yes. And a ruined city with two figures and a stone? Yes. That seems oddly specific. Are you okay, <laughs> Willem? Does one of them have Arsenio Hall on it? <laughs> <laughs> Doing yes. the whoop, 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 <laughs> a cake. <laughs> I, I took extensive notes the last time we were in. We came across this. Look at you, man. Wow. It's good stuff. Are you they have different? A point in, of are they Ooh, nice? Thank you. Are they different in any way? Like any details, slightly different. Um, the one where the. So before, I think Pinwin like was able to wipe something yep. off and yeah. find like a pressure plate or a button or something or well mostly it just revealed something that was different. oh yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. uh the only difference that you see is the gem in the stone above the city in the mural is black in this one mm-hmm. wasn't that what it was revealed to be in the hallway because mm-hmm. it was something else before mm-hmm. we okay yep so this is the true version your poor wolf buddies. They're going to be like, my queen, where'd you go? We fed them before we left. Be so. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, guys. I don't see another way out of here other than... That portal? Yeah. Somebody Sword flush on? the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> S- 
what appears to be mist starts billowing out oh, no. of the portal. And oh. two figures. Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, and to the foe. Um, two figures emerge out of the smoke. They're wearing long gray robes, and they're wearing masks with a single eye hole in the center, and their eyes are glowing red. We are the keepers of the chamber. Oh, this is creepy. Hi. <laughs> I'm Gorble. I'm Pinwin. Approach the dais. Mm. Uh, what, what for? Insight. You can roll insight. For what? <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> Uh, they seem creepy as fuck. Uh, I just want to make sure I'm not approaching the dais so they can slit my throat and <laughs> use my blood for a ritual. It's hard to tell what their intentions are. Type. <laughs> Do they have tentacles or are they humanoid? Uh, they look humanoid, but their body is completely covered by these cloaks. Why do we need to approach the dais? You must approach the dais to enter the other plane. What other plane is it, though? You will see. That, see, that's... Problematic. Why don't you just spill the beans? We are just the keepers. Cool. Of what? Yeah, what are you keeping? The chamber. Of what? This chamber. Why so can't we you... ever speak to the boss person? Yeah, who do you It's always for? some yeah. lackey who has some information, but not all. I work for Erulon, Ela, and Nef. Oh. Come again? The oh, moons? Holy the shit. moons? You work for the moons? Moons aren't deities, stupid. Warcrag is the deity. Oh, Tomar. Then there's... Uh, okay. I elbow Tomar. Tomar's head. <laughs> right, right, right. Not the time. God damn. All right, I approach the dais. I'll follow. Well, I'm not going to puss out. A dwarf doesn't puss out, so I'll follow them. <laughs> yeah, I'm going up. All right, you guys I'm all... I'm not going to be left alone. For a second, scared. I thought you were saying approaching the dais was pussing <laughs> out, and I was just like, you motherfucker. <laughs> One other has passed here. Near a lock. Did you give him a third degree too? You know he's not a good Ooh, guy, he's right? Giving you a face, but we can't see it because it's behind a mask. <laughs> Would you like to enter the portal? I think so. Do we want to enter Mira, the portal? Did Miralock enter the portal? Yes. All right. And we want to enter the portal. Huddle. 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 Men- mental huddle. Okay, so they're just letting huddle. anybody in. <laughs> There's not even a guest list. What is our game plan for Miralock? And fucking end him, right? I don't know. Can we end him? Remember, like. We don't necessarily need all of them dead, and it might cause more chaos killing multiple Archfey. Do we spare Miralak? Do we kill Benelak? Do we kill, uh, what's the other guy? Uh, Beerlock, Menelak, and Olafice. Didn't we? No. Olafice. Yeah. Right. I had the. <laughs> I'm sorry. Didn't Olafice. We... <laughs> Isn't Miralak kind of like the lesser of all those evils? Yeah, well, it seemed like the consensus was the Benelak was the real evil. Was the asshole, yeah. So do yeah. we want to try and well, like, be diplomatic? Olafice was evil, too. Maybe. Miralak is like the neutral middle brother. He's the weirdo, like. we, weirdo evil uncle. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uncle we, Rico? Uncle Miralak? We've we gotten along not. with him in the past. We might be able to... Uncle Rico? Sort of. We might not Sword even have. Of. Ha- <laughs> <laughs> Can I finish my goddamn sentence? Will <laughs> no! We might not Damn have it. magic when we switch into this plane, so killing him might not be much of an option. Man, we'll kick his ass. So diplomacy. But like this, I know this has to be tied to those symbols that have been showing up. What? The religious symbols, like the glowing one. Hmm. Hmm. So what the fuck do the moon gods want with us? Maybe we'll see him and talk to him. Maybe there's more meaning to the word moon reach than we first Whoa. thought. Oh, Why don't shit. they call it moon's reach if there's multiple moons? That's what I said. Is it? <laughs> should it be called God's reach around? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> They're like super religious. <laughs> <laughs> the Cyclops? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're just frowning and shaking their head. Can't see it because they're behind a mask. Worst case scenario, I, speaking of masks, I have Benelok's mask that allows me and possibly others that I'm can touching. Can you impersonate Benelok? I don't know that I can impersonate him. I was able to fool the, that one. I don't, the, they're clone. brothers. I don't they're know brothers. if we'd want to. They're brothers. They're brothers. I don't think I could fool Menelok into thinking I'm Miralok. Miralok. I don't think I could fool Ricola into thinking I'm Benelok. <laughs> uh, 
I don't but think we'd want to, because then he'd try to kill him. Could we convince him that we killed him already? I don't or know. Or would they be aware that of I, each other's probably. existence? They're mm-hmm. they're very like Luke and Leia in mm-hmm, touch, mm-hmm, I feel like. Mm-hmm. Whoever they are. Yeah, whoever those fucks are. <laughs> okay. But what I'm saying is worst case scenario, if we can't do magic or we get stuck or something, I have Benelok's mask that allows me or whoever's wearing it to uh fuck off to another plane. Unless there's something blocking magical travel to different planes. Well, given that Benelok's been able to just do whatever the fuck he wants and go wherever he wants, I would assume that so when we were, mask would negate it. When we were in the Starlight plane, we were not able to travel by any means. You had Benelok's mask? No, but that doesn't mean that we can wield it the same way that Benelok does. Granted, but I mean... I mean, you're welcome to try, but... I mean, I mean, God said I could. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the description when I identified the mask. God says a lot of funky things that contradict themselves, so. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> have, well, you, have you read Leviticus? <laughs> God didn't write Leviticus. Well, I mean, regardless, we can't really. At least this one didn't. <laughs> we can't really go back, can we? No. Like, this is the only That's way, so I'm it saying. doesn't really matter. Well, what matters is the question I asked, which is, what do we do about Miralak? Do we fight him? Do we talk to him? Do we try and... We talk to him. I say, let's go the diplomacy route with mm-hmm. Miralak. Let's He's talk the lesser of the evils. All right, let's go. The he devil also... You know. He's just a jerk. Might turn on his brothers. Mm-hmm. Right. They might all turn on each other. Right. Enemy it of sounds enemy, like they blah, blah, blah. all kind of want but to. But we need to decide who we keep alive. Mirror For now, I think Miralak is probably yeah. Yeah. the one to try and keep alive and try and use against the other ones. Unless we talk to him and he completely changes our minds. I wonder but. if there's more power in your sword than in his. Well, speaking of swords, so the three of them, I believe we got a description. The sword, the shield, and the host. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Miralak's the sword. Miralak's the sword, so maybe wield the sword against the other two. Do we want to look over our stuff before we go in here? This seems like a save point. (laughs) (laughs) Cue cue up the RE2 save room music. (laughs) Okay, yeah. Let's, uh, I I look at the two figures and I say to them, we do want to pass through, but we need just a moment to kind of do a quick mental and physical inventory check. Do you mind if we take a moment? As you wish. And they, <laughs> all right, hurry. Up. They, they disperse, but a like a cloud of fog hovers in front of the portal. Interesting. Okay, three ellipses are showing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what all do we have? As far as I remember, the only thing, the only thing that Mandorin gave me was the stone, the gem that took me to the ethereal plane. Is that true? Did he give me more things? No, I think that's it. All right, and I don't have that anymore. Correct. Who has the the lantern? Wasn't it? You? No. Her stag had it. Yeah, her stag did. But we'd assume that... Somebody would have taken that yeah. instead of burning him with it. Yeah. Probably Willem. <laughs> Gorble. Gorble has lantern. Sorry, that was kind of more of a you what thing. What else I didn't did we to, get? I didn't mean to step on toes there. I'm you sorry. Good? I don't care. <laughs> However you guys figured out, it's fine with me. <laughs> cool. Are you looking for what you have? Mm-hmm. Whoa, that's it. I have the... Oh, that's, a nice, a dark that's a place. nice squirrel. <laughs> I mostly just put like That's all the cool things I get and not how I got them, so I don't remember. I have the vial. I got something, right? From Mandorin? Yeah. Yeah, you're the one that opened that chest. Okay, that was from Mandorin. So the circlet that helps me breathe underwater. That was not from Mandorin. Okay. That was that under was, the Dwarven City, right? Yeah, that was right. the adventurer like thing. The th- hmm. two things that were in that that uh, Mandorin gave you Penguin were the lantern and the vial. Oh, okay. All right. Did he actually give me anything? I believe so. Giant Crusher. That was the name I forgot. <laughs> Cunt Crusher. Hmm. What about the quill, the blood Last colored was... quill and the beetle pendant? Where did those come from? The blood colored quill came from the chest inside of Shade Gazer Manor. Uh, the beetle pendant came from. God, where did that come from? Not Mandoran, though. <laughs> I can also identify any gear you guys have in question that you have that you've gotten from somebody like, say, the Bloody Brawlers. Because we were told that they haven't unlocked their true potential, and there might be more to them. Like Oathbow? Yes, like Oathbow. So you can look at it and see? We definitely know there's more to Oathbow than meets the eye, because it used to look completely different and function differently. That's true. 
I'll take off bow out and look really close at it. Does it look different at all? Not at the moment, no. It hmm. changed when you guys were in Deep Minster. It became more of like a blue with a little bit of pink in it. Mm, like cotton candy. A little. And it gained that new quality. Mm. As we're all kind of looking through our stuff, I I turn back to the figures and I ask them, you guys wouldn't happen to collectively be called the fish, would you? They reform. We are not the fish. Okay. Do you know who the fish is? The fish has passed through here before four. You said only one other person has been through here. Yeah, Mirror Only one person has been Mirrorlock is the fish. Okay, so mm. that the fish has passed through the portal many times. That's confusing. What the fuck? I can't remember if I got anything. Is it a fish? Hmm? Is it a fish? Is what a fish? I'm the asking fish. them if it's a fish. The fish. Is the fish a fish? Oh. <laughs> the fish is not a fish. Is what does it look like? Mirrorlock? The fish is a human. Description? A human? Can you see us? I can see your auras. What Is what was their aura? Yeah. <laughs> it's purple! What did the fish's aura look like? Radiating intense energy. Very powerful. Is the fish in there now? The fish is not. Hmm. What color was the aura? <gasps> I know who the fish is. <gasps> Let's hear it. <laughs> that reaction to that wake you up. What? My mom's name means fish. You idiot, Gorbel. <laughs> <laughs> it's a what? different language, asshole. <laughs> I didn't think of my mom as a fucking fish. Holy shit. What the fuck? Is your mom a human? Yeah. I never would have guessed that looking wow. at her. <laughs> would have guessed cow. <laughs> so, so do we go in the portal now? Wait. This is confusing. Well, okay, can you answer if... Gorble has gotten something from Mandorin in any way. Um, yeah, are we missing anything else? If it's not super plot dependent, then you can skip over. You got the old sealed scroll in Ravenmore. Old sealed scroll? Did I ever open it? No. Could I open it? Mm. Because it was in a language that none of you recognized and no one wanted to open it. And oh. then you guys <laughs> forgot about it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nobody wanted to open it. Whoa. <laughs> Doesn't sound like us. No. It 100%. Doesn't. Wow. We must have been really busy. Ominous door. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> Seal, Are you gonna open sealed it? scroll. Nah, fuck that. I cannot believe I forgot that I had this, you guys. I mean, technically, you didn't know it was from Mandalorian, but Mandalorian. <laughs> you guys would have identified it at this point. So Mandalorian. Mandalorian. I mean, I, I pull it out. Okay. Are you going to respond at all to my? You guys are throwing a lot of questions theory? at me, please. Um, About the fish. Why would he respond to that? I don't know. Why He's wouldn't the he? DM. Yeah, I'm impartial. Don't wake at me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wake at me. Okay. Shit. So open it. Yeah, let's open it. <laughs> open the scroll. What's in? Yeah. What's what open. does it do? Tell me now. It's. <laughs> Tell in, me inside now. the scroll is inscribed many letters that none of you recognize. What language is it? You don't know. Can we show it to the figures and ask <gasps> if they can read it? Mm-hmm. I still have my translator. It does not translate it. God damn it. Um, what did you want to do? Can we ask the figures if they know how to read the scroll? Uh, you, you can ask, yeah. Oh, misty figures <laughs> that are not the fish. Can you read the scroll that Gorbel has? It is the language of the gods. We cannot read it. Is it celestial? It is not. Who can read it? Just the gods? Is it Godriel? <laughs> Only the gods can read or write. And the gods language. are beyond this. Sorry, I thought you were done. So it's not a, a mechanical language that we could even know. <laughs> so, if, so if we want to get this translated, we gotta go through we the have portal. to go in. Mm-hmm. Also, so the fish is alive. We do not know. How do we catch the fish? What color is like the fish? The right lure. Yep, need some good bait. Gummy worms. You said the fish aura <laughs> was what? Blue. Blue. Okay. You're blue. <laughs> what color is my aura? Yellow. Well, I mean, now we all have to know. Yeah. Yours is white. 
And then they look at you, Tomar. Yours is the color of fire. <laughs> and they look at you, Pinwin. You have no aura. Oh. What? He's you, a zombie, you fucking homunculus ass motherfucker. What does that mean? Oh. I pop Pinwin in the head with my nine. Do only people from Moonreach have auras? Only those from the village above can we see the auras of. Oh. I'm sorry, Pinwin. That was Pinwin. a fun rhyme. You probably have an aura somewhere. <laughs> we'll find it. <laughs> It's always just, in the last place I you want look. An aura. <laughs> you have one, they just can't see it. All right. <laughs> just like we can't read this scroll. All right, we're fucking around. What do we do? We but go in, right? Yeah, we we're to going. Go in. Let's go. And we talk to him. And we get this translated. Yes. Mm-hmm. And we why go did now. we even come down? Oh yeah, we find out what was in the bag. We oh. find out why our parents are the way they are. We find out a lot. Let's go. Tell me all your thoughts on gods. Because <laughs> I'm on my way to meet them. So Let's you guys going to go in? Let's link hands yes. and then go in at the same time. None of this door kicking off cliff shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> you you did learn a lesson. No. Nope. Let's go. Hand holdy. All right. So you guys all join hands. Mm-hmm. And join hands. The cloud surrounds you, and then suddenly, you guys are in this plain of gray grass and pink sky. Nice. And featureless everywhere else. As far as you can see in any direction to the horizon, there's just nothing else. So there's not much here, but it feels much better to have my whole body in this time. Try and cast cantrip. What cantrip? Doesn't matter. I create bonfire. That's what you're gonna cast. Yeah. You create a bonfire. I extinguish Yay. it. <laughs> I try mage hand. It appears. I do word of radiance. I say varican. <laughs> Pin one. I do minor illusion and. I don't know. I'll just make like a little flower. Nothing happens. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Wait, can I not do magic? Nope. Maybe not. Oh, <laughs> this is the worst. Or are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna sit down in the grass and wait for something to happen. Really? Do you see anywhere to go? No, this but this is I mean, all I the just... same. Just feels weird. Just I sit waiting. down to start meditating. I'm gonna try casting like all my other cantrips. Nothing just happens. Just to be sure. <laughs> oh, I look at the scroll again. It looks the same. Do you guys want me to inspect anything or? Hello. <sighs> Willem, was that you? <laughs> Sorry, I had Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Taco Belba. <laughs> God, that's what we should have said for the Taco Tuesday. Wow. Jesus. Oh, shit. Damn it. One point of boon towards me. <laughs> Fuck. Wait, um, who are we talking to? Hi. We have a bad connection. So my mom's <laughs> name is Sora, right? Her real name. But she went by Zara. Yes. Which means fish. Correct. Who gave her that name? She named herself that, remember? She named herself that, okay. Well, it's because her father called her right. Little right. Fish. God damn it. Can we address the disembodied voice that keeps responding? Hello. Who's there? Uh. Wow! <laughs> Banana. What do you need us to say? To continue conversation. Continue conversation? Hello. What's your name? I have no name. Anyang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe he won't answer me. He probably won't answer me, guys. I don't have an aura. It responded to you. He just said hello. You're the first one who said anything and it responded to you. Maybe he just answers one person at a time. Where are we? You're in the gods' plane. Are the gods here? Yes. <gasps> are you a god? 
Can you bring them here instead? No. How do we get to them? Follow me. Okay. Oh. <laughs> and, a, and a blue flame that looks very familiar to you, Pinwin, mm. appears floating. Oh. <gasps> I don't like... No. Not this again. What's wrong? Just a little bit of fire, Pinwin. No, this is what I saw when I had to choose the towns. Oh. Oh. Not a good thing. Wow. Four symbols appear in the air above the flame. A flame symbol, a tree, what appears to be a water droplet, and what appears to be three curved lines. Wind? Do we each choose a different one or all choose the same? There is no response. Well, I'm drawn to the fire. How many do we choose? I'm going to go up to the fire. Earth? Go up to the water. Aren't you scared of water? Look at you. His vision had a lot of water in it. Oh. I'm compelled. Oh, wait. <laughs> I didn't think about the visions. I don't know if I want that vision. Should I pick air? I feel like that's a gorble thing. Mm-hmm. I was on an airship in my vision. But you're tied to, like, the forest and your What was right. gorble's Ranger. vision? That's what I was thinking. Oh, yeah. What was your vision? Getting chased. Finding dead people. Getting chased by your moon for me. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wolf army. Mm. 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 Are you going to choose something? Which ones are left? <laughs> uh, the tree and the curved lines. I'll pick. I'll do whatever you're not doing, Gorbel. I'll, I'll do the three curved lines. Okay, tree it is. Place your hand on the cliff. Yeah. <laughs> it's morphin' time! <laughs> I was going to have yeah. plan <laughs> <laughs> They all disperse, and then Tomar, a vibrant orange flame starts swirling around you. Willem, it seems like a column of water starts surrounding you. Gorbel, your body is like inundated with heavy winds and nothing happens with you, Pinwin. (laughs) My aura? And then... (laughs) In each of your hands is a long wand. Yours is bright orange, Tomar. Yours is bright blue, Willem. Yours is bright yellow, Gorbel. And yours is bright green, Oh, yeah, I get a wand. So we got a wand even though the glyph didn't do anything? Correct. Hmm. Hmm. Swish and flick. Maybe easy with the swishing and flicking (laughs) until we know what these do. (laughs) and the flame starts bouncing along a very specific path. I slowly start following it. I'm going to try and identify my wand while I'm walking. Okay. (laughs) Tell me (laughs) everything there. Okay. It appears to not even be magical at all, according to your identify. It's just a stupid stick. (laughs) 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 And we're done. (laughs) <laughs> Destroys the plane of the gods. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Whoopsie daisy! <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid! It's just a flashlight! <laughs> Get them! <laughs> Alright, well, I follow. Do you guys all follow the flame? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alright. walk a flock of flame? Uh, you seem to walk for a very long time. It's not moving too quickly, not too slow. Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, pardon me. Not too quickly, not too slow. Uh, just an even do si do. Do si do. But you guys walk for several hours. Jesus. So and did we walk 500 miles? No. That's not <laughs> how it works. <laughs> Are you sure you teach <laughs> elementary math? No. Um, no. And if it wasn't for this flame, you guys would almost feel like you weren't going anywhere because everything is exactly the same. Mm. However, after a few hours, the flame stops and it disperses. And then there's a ripple. <laughs> I led you out here. Bye. Yeah, I was like, actually, I don't know where we are. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought this was the different neighborhood. <laughs> and there's a ripple right in front of you in the air, I guess. But nothing else happens. Like, Natural gas? Potentially. I point the stick into the air. Nothing happens. 
Hmm. I touch the ripply air. It just feels like ripply air. I blow Which on feels it. like what? <laughs> uh, yeah, it feels like a hair dryer being blasted around your fingertips. Okay. I touch it. When you touch it, your wand feels warm. Mm. I hold my wand to it. <laughs> like the aperture of an eye, it opens, and you can see a rocky... Horror picture show. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like rocky cliffs, very familiar looking to you all. Rocky cliffs and outcroppings and a deep valley below with a massive symbol carved into it. Oh, we've been there. Are we to go in or are we just looking at it? It's large enough for you guys to enter. This is the place we were just at before going to Moonreach? Seems like it. What the fuck? All right, well, I'm going in. Okay. Here we go. All right. As you step through Gorbel, your wand... (laughs) Disappears. Hey. <laughs> Someone check my wand. <laughs> <laughs> the flame <laughs> appears again. <laughs> All right. Can we take the quick way this time? It just continues <laughs> on through the past whole flame. <laughs> um, I have a question. Do I still need to have my wand? <laughs> <laughs> I appear to have misplaced it. <laughs> they said don't let go of your wand. And I, I, think, done. I think I left it in the last plane. <laughs> Please keep your hands and feet inside the, the wand. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys continue on, and then the flame disappears in front of a mountain. You guys move for a while, another few hours, and then it just stops right at the base of this mountain. Um, hello? <laughs> Maybe Penwin try yours. At the base of the mountain? I don't know. Try pointing it at the rock or something. I'll try to. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> like the aperture of an eye. It opens up, revealing more cliffs, but this time they have tons of waterfalls mm. falling down Hot their spring. sides and into a giant basin of water, like some sort of lake. Off in the distance, you can see more mountains and trees and a forest. Looks actually pretty beautiful. Well, we're going in. Yeah. There we <laughs> go. Just assume Obviously. we're going in each thing until we s- say not to. Fair enough. You guys step in and <laughs> your wand disappears, Pinwin. The flame <laughs> appears and travels and brings you, after a few hours, to a large waterfall. <laughs> there was a fucking waterfall back there. <laughs> All right, I uh, follow suit, and I walk up, and... (laughs) Aperture of an eye. You step through. Wand disappears. Flame reappears. But this time... Find yourself at a Quiznos. (laughs) (laughs) Inside a giant oven. The year is 1994. (laughs) (laughs) Rangers. Now you guys are back on the featureless plane. And the flame... I'm going to choke the flame. (laughs) (laughs) ...is just dancing in front of you guys, not moving. I point my stick at the flame. (laughs) It starts shooting off in different directions. And as the the flames hit the ground, they burn into the grass. (laughs) And eventually, they form what appears to be some sort of seal. Mm -hmm. And then the flame is gone, and you are wand. Is it a living seal? (laughs) <laughs> or or <Baby>! seal. <laughs> <laughs> it's a seal, the, the music artist. Or animal. <laughs> it's seal, but he's dead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Why? Baby. <laughs> um, is it activated, you say? It is not. Can I, we step on it? You may try. I'm going to step on it. We should probably all step on mm-hmm. it. At the same time? Yes. yes. I'm wearing sandals. Does it look what like, is your point? Does it look like this? <laughs> it was just burned in. It does. It looks just like that. What is it? Did you draw that? Very quickly. In Snapchat. <laughs> when did you get that? When what regards? Who snapped you that, Willem? <laughs> <laughs> when did you new get phone, Snapchat? You new, never told me. You new phone who dis? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I found this in Ravenmore. Uh, when I went there with Shigara and Chester, and it was overrun or being inhabited by rather they didn't seem hostile but it was being inhabited by hobgoblins did we see that symbol before no hmm okay well it was it was in the town square and it was huge and it was drawn in blood mm. is this drawn in blood no this is burned okay well i'm not as great <laughs> i'm not as scared of fire 
Uh, I'm going to walk onto the seal. You guys are welcome to join me. I'm hesitant, but it doesn't seem like there's any other option. Mm-hmm. I step on. Mm-hmm. You guys disappear in a puff of smoke. <laughs> oh, that was loud. And you guys appear in what appears to be space. <clears throat> it's all dark. There's stars everywhere, but you look to be on a piece of translucent glass, a wide platform that stretches probably 100 feet, and there are three large... <laughs> 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 um, but you can breathe. Um, there are three large thrones at the end. I, I sit in the middle one. There are no. three. They're, <laughs> they're a hundred feet away, and there's three people sitting on the throne. I sit on his lap. <laughs> Anyway, here's my list. I want a pony. Hi, puppy. All right, while we approach the celestial beings of moons. Reach. Reach. As you approach, you can see that on the one to your left is a golden-skinned individual, a woman with beautiful black hair that stretches all the way down past the throne and kind of pools up on the ground. That's hot. <laughs> she's she's wearing a long, elaborate, golden uh, dress as well that matches her skin tone. Mm. It's almost as if it's wow. all one. Also, so these are humanoid? Also, they're Whoa. humanoid, but there's definitely something not human about them. <laughs> I love okay. gold. They, they are almost like, when you look at them, they're almost like, Otherworldly in their beauty, like too hot. Yeah, Does like she look too like She could be from the Summer Court, <laughs> from Skyrim. No, or from Elder <laughs> from Scrolls. From D and D. Does first look? egg always cast bomb of the Summer oh, Court? Because uh, it's yeah, yeah, from yeah. A, yeah. Uh, no, getting a really strong Stargate vibe. Hmm. Um, the one on the far right is a man, or male, presenting with short white hair and kind of translucent but teal colored skin mm. uh, he looks like very very well built almost like a soldier but there's a very calm air about him he's got just a little bit of white facial hair and he is dressed in all white and in the center is a pure white creature skin almost completely devoid of any color and her eyes are a shining purple. She's got long black hair as well, but she wears a almost like a warrior's outfit. Uh, it's, you can see belts and armor and light light armor, and it's red and brown and green, and it almost looks like a like a soldier's uniform of some kind. And she sits on the highest dais, and she's frowning at us, at you. <laughs> like disapprovingly or just like I'm not mad Dang, I'm just disappointed mad. the sorry moon the male turns to look at all of you you are the wolves of moonreach you have come seeking but you do not know your true purpose here do you we don't know shit mr moon <laughs> <laughs> like a little kid. <laughs> well, uh, what are we standing in front of? My gods, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> yeah, we don't know shit, Mr. Moon. <laughs> Can you help open my milk, Mr. Moon? <laughs> <laughs> Somehow Ralph from The Simpsons is in the party. Uh. <laughs> I talked to the moon. He told me to burn things. You have come all this way, so we will allow you to ask each of us one single question as a group. Oh, no. Oh, 
Oh, so we all collectively get to ask each one of you a question, a total of three questions. Does that count as one of the questions? That was a statement. (laughs) That does not count. That would have counted as a question. (laughs) You fool! (laughs) Okay, guys. It's starting now. After you will be required to do something for us. Oh, Um. now they want. Okay, let's just fucking get through this. God damn it. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you just resort to slurping noises. <laughs> <millions. laughs> uh, conference. Your hair. Okay. I mean, we're going to have them translate the scroll, right? I don't know. I, I feel like we should. We yeah. just now remembered we even had a scroll. Because we haven't been able to read it. We don't necessarily have... That doesn't have to be a question. We can say... Please translate this scroll. That's a statement. So that doesn't even mm-hmm. have to be one of our questions. I don't know if it's like a genie situation here, <laughs> Willem. Well, let's prioritize the questions that we have and what to ask. Well, sure. Where to who the fish is? Or what the fish's I purpose feel is? Like or maybe you where that to code. find the no, fish. Well, then what the fuck is the significance? Why were we supposed to find the fish? I'm supposed to listen to every damn word they have to say. What do we need to know? Where do the need fish to... is. No. How to defeat Calcifer. <laughs> yes. Um, um, how to stop those things. You know, I mean, how, I... how to kill Benelok. Or an Archfey in general. Ah, um, how to kill an Archfey. How to kill an Archfey in general. Um, um, uh... What information do we need to know? That's a good one. How to use, how to locate and use lineage stones. What was yours? That's actually really good. What, what information it? do we need to know? <laughs> that's just that's very all ah, but convincing. it could also be it all. It could also like, that's subjects like, to fuckery mm-hmm. where they could say <laughs> Here, some. Vague here's what you moon need to know. Thing. People say add a little splash of milk when making scrambled eggs. This is a <laughs> mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they mentioned our purpose and stuff. Then if we. We're hitting the mark purpose. with our questions, then they can tell us within more information. Am I smart? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> if you have to ask. <laughs> um, <laughs> fuck. So we get four questions? How to kill an Archfey? You get three questions. Yeah, there's only three of them. Oh, I thought mm. they meant for each of us. We collectively, the wolves, get to ask each one of them a question. Correct. Do they seem like they would know different answers based on what they look like or anything? Or are what we we've to, heard of the moons? Right. Are we able to mm-hmm. differentiate which yeah. moon is representative here? Which yeah. one looks most omnipotent? The Probably the middle one. Yeah, Eli mm-hmm. is like the all-powerful creator. So he's the one we ask for more information. Is it a he or Maybe. she? I assumed it or was she. she. Who, Feminine they, presenting. The gods have got to give us more of a direct answer because they've got, like, they've, everyone else has been like, gotta. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. In a god. Of a everyone else has been like, I don't know, ask the gods. And then these <laughs> yeah. are the Who gods. Who are you talking so about, like, Benwin? <laughs> 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 Who have you been talking to? So they said that we don't know our purpose. Yeah. Can we? What our purpose is? Yeah. Is that too vague? I don't know. I feel like that 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 is actually a good question. <sighs> we're so stupid. Yeah. Okay. So hey. that's why we're gonna fail at this god scenario. We have one question. <laughs> okay. We need two more. What's wait? What question? What is our purpose? Can we reword that slightly different? Like, yeah. Uh, in this timeline or something, because in previous in other timelines True. we were evil and. Okay. In this timeline, what is our purpose? Can you give us more information? <laughs> oh <About> Jesus! <laughs> no, I know. I'm just kidding. You're no. straying from the path. Should we ask, like, I don't know what Mirluck is doing here, or something mm. to that? Oh yeah, how do we kill an Archfey? That was gonna right. Be one. Uh, is that still on the table? Or, or how that... to destroy an Archfey? Like, why would they be letting? Who told him us in? we need to kill an Archfey? First of all, uh, nobody. Somebody. Why did we come to that conclusion? No, yeah, someone told us that. Because Benelok says that he wants to enslave all of the planes. What is that? I'm sorry, that was me. How do it's we, always me. How do we stop Benelok? Is that a question? Well, that's what I. Well, well I, I think said, so. how do I kill Benelok? How do we kill Benelok? And you said, well, how do you kill an Archfey? 
right. would be. So because how there's to three of them. Urge at least three. Do we want to do we want to ask how to destroy them or how to stop them? I would mm. say stop them. Because there might be they might give us multiple answers then. Okay. And they yeah, might give us they, or what if how do you kill an archfey and they say you can't? Yeah. And but then what, bah, done. But or they give us ask, an answer we can't do. Right, 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 right. But also so if we how ask we how stop? do you stop an archfey, they could say kill them and then we don't have, know how to kill them. That's so a good point, Pinwin. I think that's super unfair though to give just like a an <laughs> answer like that. You know who you're talking to here. Yeah, that's why I'm saying I think it's super unfair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's cool. Yeah. yeah. It's not very yeah. yeah. It's not cool. Duh. Just, just give, give us one Give a complete answer. So you got two questions that you're going <laughs> So we have one more question. Wait, what are our two questions? Why are you such a fucking pre <laughs> In this timeline, what is our purpose as the wolves of Moonreach? How do we stop an archfey? And then we need one more. Do we ask about the lineage stones? Like how do we or how to take how do we find for... slash wield them to yeah. fruition <clears throat> or what is the true purpose of lineage stones or or why us like why were we chosen well I, I mean I like guess I, that's yeah. along the lines what of the do first we question. do next I don't know. are we gonna do something <clears throat> with the lineage stones here I feel like that's that the most good. important thing that okay. well I mean not the most important but one of the important things that we don't understand okay mm-hmm. how it's do we. There. How do we use? Can you tell us about the lineage stones? Um, what about if something to leave it open? What if? What if we just phrase what everything if we as fail? a statement? What happened? Like, is there another way to resolve the current conflict or something? Like, assuming we fuck up something royally, is there another way to reset things? Mm. So, are there multiple ways to? Resolve this conflict. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's the end of the question. That's right. the end of the we answer. We need some open. Are we answers. going? To, we need like, to. We need to have less open-ended questions. What about the scroll? Or more yeah, open-ended I was like, questions. Yeah. Less yes/no questions. Yes. We can follow up with the scroll. First, let's try. Could always scroll use as a, a statement. Could always burn a bam card to try and convince uh. them to do the scroll thing. <laughs> we all burn a BAM card with a random question. Can you give us more information? <laughs> <laughs> That'd probably be some dope information, though. Maybe. Erulan leans forward. We do haven't have... got all day. <laughs> do you have your We've questions? got moon stuff to do. <laughs> <laughs> we do. Gorble? That's not a question. <laughs> Next question. Hi, ev- <laughs> Please tell us everything you know about the lineage stones. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Gorble. They all like Hi, kind of Gorble. incline their head to you. It's super cool meeting you. So I'm going to ask the questions. Who will you ask first? All right. Don't ask a question in response. Can we tell who is who? Erulan is the... <laughs> Like masculine presenting one, the one in the center is Ela, and the one on the far end is Neff. So, are you going to choose who to ask which question? I guess, unless you guys have some input. The guy seems like the one to ask about, like how to kill stuff. That's what I was going to do. I was going (laughs) to. The middle one also looks like a warrior, though. Mm -hmm. Kind of killy. Yeah. Yeah. I assume the middle one would have like better answers to like the more existential questions. I think I was. Who's the wisest looking one? The middle one? Mm, or no. Give me insight. Oof. 19. Oh. 25. Anybody else rolling? Yeah. Mine was bad. Give me just a sec. Um, 12. 27. Um, 26. Together, you should. You all kind of remember from the stories that uh, Erulan was the one who created light to give to the living on the material plane in order to stave back the darkness. He is the one who seems to understand the human plight, probably the wisest, or the the humanoid plight, the best, probably the wisest. Hmm. What about the other ones? Well, you know that Ela is the creator and is the primary, uh, like, most premier of the three. Her word is the is law. 
So she's going to be the most Zuckerberg. Maybe mm-hmm. ask her most about the Archfey or the Lineage Stones. Mm-hmm. Ask him about... Um, How to stop a... No. What was our other question? Fuck our, 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 like, purpose. our purpose. Our purpose. Okay. Yeah, I would say the wisest. Ask about the purpose. What's the other one? Neff. Yeah. Neff was the... Uh, basically the one who introduced magic into lineage the material stones. plane. Ask her about lineage stones. Okay. Ask middle one about the archfey. Ask the other one. I'm not remembering their names for shit. We did not have a lineage stone question. We, I thought we moved that to the what other ways can we resolve this conflict? Because we only have three questions. Speak your first question. I I think, to Gorbel, go ahead and just ask Aru, Arulian? Arulon. Arulon. Ask him about our special purpose. Mm-hmm. That's a good All right, our first question is for Arulon. Speak, Gorbel. In this timeline, what is our purpose? Your purpose was forged by others before you. You were designed in a way by your parents in order to combat what is to come if you fail. Your purpose, depending on what you choose to do, is either to succeed or fail in destroying that which grows inside of the chrysalis and that which unchains the great adversary below. Your choices will decide, but none are set in stone. But your two options before you are to either succeed and destroy, or to fail and allow this entire plane to succumb to the whims of another. I didn't even know it was the great adversary for sure that was underneath the chrysalis. That's pretty bad. <laughs> That's who was running the ethereal plane. Your journey will be difficult. There will be very hard decisions, harder than you've had to make yet. More. And that will decide whether you succeed or fail, or perhaps somewhere in between. I wonder what the contingency is. Like, we're designed to do something even if we fail. Do we just blow up the world if we fail? Are we taking time bombs that just reset everything if we fail? I don't know. Why are our parents such assholes? <laughs> the comment I made about before about talking to the architect. Why couldn't I, they... I take it back. This is <laughs> <laughs> this is that conversation. Why couldn't they tell us more about succeeding and how to do that? All right, because now that, that's now that he's answered this question, does this change any of our other questions? I mean, I want to know how we don't fail. So maybe, we do, should we change it from Archfade to the Great Adversary? Like, how do we defeat? Oh, yeah. That'd be good. Maybe. Yeah. Because then... What, what are all the ways that we could come to the conclusion of defeating the Arch... Or the Great Adversary? I like it. That's good. What are all the pathways that we could take to destroy the Great Adversary? Maybe ask that. Maybe you can ask that question. Mm-hmm. Okay. And... I should ask Ela that, not Neff. Not right. Neff. Neff is the magic one, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Ela's the Ela's the straight up and architect. Neff is also the one with, who is known as, for her kindness, like ultimate kindness and forgiveness, and not cutting her hair. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Which one's hotter? I mean, definitely Neff. No contest, Neff. No. <laughs> 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 I mean, they're it almost. It transcends, if you can Even Erlon, imagine. probably. They're probably like, whoa. Yeah. I mean, it transcends like a sexual attraction. It's like beauty that is just like... Intimidating. All, yeah, all-encompassing. Ready? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Our next question is for Ela. She inclines her head. What are all of the different pathways we could take to stopping the great adversary? And you watch as Erulan actually sets his hand on her shoulder and his eyes kind of move a little and then he speaks. There are many paths that you can take, 
But primarily, you must destroy that which dwells inside the chrysalis. You must destroy those that would do the material plane harm, such as the one calling himself the Master. You must stop in any way the completion of the ritual inside of the ziggurat, and you must rekindle your former bonds with your allies. Any that have fallen to the wayside, they must be reattached to you by the threads of fate. You must also find out more information from those items that you carry. Use the power of the lineage stones to stop the great adversary. We might need to ask where the lineage stones are. Well, I think we need to ask how do we use the power of the lineage stones? But I'll, we also have no idea where to find them. Do we have any lineage stones? Mm-mm. We thought that we might uh, have had one in Deepminster. Uh, we, I think Jennifer was hanging on to Deepminster's lineage stone, right? What happened to it? I think Gorble took it. Somebody took it. Mm. From Jennifer. I think it was you. Oh, shit. Do, I, do I have that? It's kind of an important thing. Do we? <laughs> can we confirm for sure where it is? Yeah, we'll... Uh, I mean, since none of you guys know for sure who took it, we'll just say Gorbel has it. I hate to be bringing this up right now, guys, <laughs> but... No. They would know that I have it, right? Yeah. Yeah, because Jennifer had the... The Mandoran memory and the lineage stone for Deepminster in both of her claws. No, it was uh, Prince Othus and oh, the... the Prince Othus and oh, this the thing. lineage stone. For the construct. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, my question is for Neff. Who did you think had the greatest music video of 2018? <laughs> <laughs> Beyonce died. Um, <laughs> how do we wield the power of the lineage stones? She kind of smiles. Oh, she smiled at me. <laughs> <laughs> I have a coronary. <laughs> <laughs> and she stands rather than sits. And she swipes her fingers through the air. And this like glowing light enters her throat. You must utilize the Veldalinian bloodline in order to use the lineage stones. There are items that exist that can help you find those of different bloodlines. If you were to find one that allowed you to see into the bloodline of Veldalin, you could find someone who can access the lineage stones. For all of the line of Arngrim are dead. They are? They are. Save one. But I fear that that one is lost forever. The king? Or the young prince? The boy king? His blood no longer dwells in his body, does it not? His soul, pieces of it, reside in the lineage stone itself and will power it. But you must find an item that allows you to peer into a bloodline and find a descendant of Veldalim to wield the lineage stones. Fuck. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And with that, she... (laughs) A huge circle of ground disappears beneath you guys and you fall (laughs) (laughs) and float in midair. What? (laughs) Nothing. Just the scroll thing. (laughs) Billy. (laughs) (laughs) And you guys, and then you find yourself in an open field and you hear Erlan's voice. We will do one favor for you if you resolve this situation in front of you. 
and you guys hear a slop, sloshing, like, gross sound from behind you. And climbing through the dirt of the field, busting out of the ground, is a long, slender, demonic creature looking very similar to the one that you faced in Heart Valley. Mm -hmm. And everywhere it touches, the ground gets gunky and evil. (laughs) And that's where we're going to end. Oh, shit. God damn it. Wow. Oh, wow. Finally going to have a fight in this arc. Uh, (laughs) You had one. I don't want to fight. I want to figure out what the hell is going on. Okay. Okay. Shit. What do we have? For her, Johnny. For the stones. Where are the stones? Um... Why? And what do we already <laughs> have? What do we already have that we can use? Right, the scroll. Or, I mean, also the lantern. Also yeah, the we, there's some we didn't with what the to vial. Do. We didn't tell them to read the scroll. No. Well, they said they would do one favor for us if we fight this fucking blob man. Oh. But we all agree that that's going to be a different favor, right? Maybe. Or do we, do we each get a favor? Because that'd be cool. I doubt it. <laughs> Stingy ass moons. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Moon. <laughs> oh. Slunty ass moons. All right. So tell me why you guys deserve five points of boon. Being Inter- inquisitive as heck. Yeah. Interacting a bunch with all of the sentient weirdos. Maybe figuring out the fish. Yeah. That was uh, good. Uh, <laughs> getting everyone <laughs> safely through everything. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Disarming the door. Answering my trivia cor- ch- question correctly. Discovering that there was a trap on the door. Etc. Okay. Et Everybody take five points of boon. Woo. Okay. Okay. All right, now it's time for tonight's MVPC, the most mm. valuable player character. Mm. Okay. Once again, this is decided by choosing the corresponding number to the person. Willem is one, Tomar is two, Pinwin is three, and Gorbel is four. I'll give you a moment to decide, and then I'll have you vote. All right, is everybody locked in? One, Final two, three, Vote. We've got one vote for Willem, two votes for Tomar, and one vote for Gorbel. Tomar, why'd you vote for Willem? Um, he was he was contributing a lot to our how to ask what question thing and mm-hmm. uh, the door stuff. Uh, yeah, and getting through the the poop shoot <laughs> unscathed was cool. Okay. Willem, why'd you vote for Gorbel? She figured out who the fish was. Mm-hmm. Maybe. I Probably. feel like, yeah. That seems as soon pretty as, fishy. It was one of those things where, like, as soon as you said it, I was like, oh, fuck, I remember him saying that. No, yeah, And that makes a bunch of sense. And that also makes a lot of other questions come up. And I just thought that that was, like, really good to put together. Your mm-hmm. mom was to have died, right? Like, uh-huh. Yeah. My dad is dead for sure. We saw a spirit. But do we communicate with them again? I feel like there's a point in which we talk to all of our dead relatives or something. Yeah, because before now, like, Pinwin was the only one with any living parents. Maybe that's why nobody can talk to Pinwin, because his family's still alive. <laughs> Look, My dad's you're not, not. You're that's not true. Batman enough. <laughs> <laughs> Have a more sad backstory, loser. <laughs> Be more Batman. Have Pinwin. more dead relatives. Why'd you vote for Tomar? Um... I voted for Tomar. Um, I guess I realized I should, I don't know. You and Willem both helped carry me down. So technically it was both of you. <laughs> that was it? That was the only reason to vote? <laughs> and yeah, I mean, helping with the questioning and um, being funny and super tomar Okay. <laughs> Gorbel, why'd you vote for Tomar? No, no shit, Mr. Moon. <laughs> <laughs> he carried me like the entire time. The Mr. Moon question, like, mm-hmm. 
<laughs> made me laugh really hard. <laughs> yeah. Because in my mind, I was just imagining us being like very childlike. <laughs> uh, yeah, it made me laugh. Mm -hmm. All right. So that means tonight's MVPC is Tomar Iron Fist. Hey. <laughs> Take your five points of boon or whatever. Cool. Or whatever. What's the whatever? Ten points of boon. Whatever. Nice. <laughs> Find the back door. We went through with that shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, check out our Patreon for more uh, <laughs> dope content like that. Yeah, Ooh. off the cuff genius nuggets of wisdom right there. Um, yeah, but thanks to all of you for listening. Thanks to Chad Piper for that awesome intro song. Thanks to Adrian Von Ziegler for that beautiful background music. Thanks to all of you listeners. We really appreciate it. Check out our social media, our Patreon, make us a warlock. Uh, yeah, check out our YouTube, our Facebook and give us an email or, and leave reviews. Please God, leave reviews. We love reading them. We will read them on the podcast if you leave one regardless of the stars though we really appreciate five stars and uh if you do anything else we will cry so and find you and then cry in front of you <laughs> yep. and you'll feel real bad in public and keep asking you why <laughs> <laughs> change it <laughs> see you next week i am your host and dm seth and this is the d20 syndicate podcast where we go on adventures so you don't have to Mm, boy. Oh, God! God! What do we need to do with our fucking lineage stones? Oh, so much. Stick them up your yeah. <laughs> uh, A foul chill went across my body <laughs> just now. <laughs> Not sure where from. The crow cawed three okay. times. <laughs> Keep Call. rolling, rolling. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fell voice on the air. Yeah. What do we do next? <laughs> 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 Instead of Saruman on his tower, it's just Fred Durst, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the, 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 the mountain's still coming down. <laughs> oh, boy. Fuck. God damn, why are we so stupid? I don't know. <laughs> What's wrong with us? You should ask the gods. <laughs> That's the last question. Why are we so stupid? Why are we so fucking stupid, God? Paul Frank. Oh, yes. Paul Frank, yeah. Sorry. Uh, Sorry. Huh. I don't know. Yeah. Lisa Frank's brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's her dad, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle to Frank Lloyd Wright. <laughs> That's how names work. Um, Who was the second I cousin of the Wright brothers. I don't know. Yeah, then we get into the weeds a little bit there. Because they're right brothers. They're related to the Dunn brothers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I was going to say company. the Super Mario brothers. <laughs> uh, the Doobie brothers. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I would probably like it, whatever it is. Do you like burgers with a lot of like decadence to them? Like they just have a bunch of shit on them? I like fucking food with shit on it. I like, like food with food on it. Yeah. <laughs> I like food. I like my yes. food with a side of food. Yes, I'm not, food it's very rare where I've where I've had something where I I'm like I'm never coming back here. This is you are so I'm unlike a, Elijah. I'm above this. <laughs> Elijah, what like you did to me? He uh, <laughs> yeah, when we went to Taste of India, and he'd never had Indian food, and he got <laughs> lamb korma. Every time oh. Elijah Elijah always tries something like out there at, at a mm -hmm. new place, and then it always backfires. Yeah, like I Stick I mean I like the, lamb. Yeah, and him and but service. I've had other stuff from. So if that was my right. first experience with Indian food. It'd be like, uh, it's okay. It'd be like not doing a California roll for your first sushi See, and experience. I, and I had, I, that's, I went to Soho for one and mm -hmm, it, I didn't realize too. that there was a difference and it was my first time trying sushi mm -hmm. and I had a dragon roll and it was, I was like, oh my God, this is, I fucking hate sushi and yes. I wasn't going to eat it again. Yes. And then Drew and Ross were like, hey, we're going to Wasabi. They, do you want to tag along? I was like, do they have anything other than sushi there? They're like, yeah, they got like, uh, like, uh, what are you, like hibachi there. Yeah. I was like, okay, cool. And then I 
was sitting there eating my hibachi and Ross was like, hey, this is a crunchy roll. This is like as as American as you can get with a sushi roll. Do you want to try it? I was like, okay. It was just like, like I was like, oh my God, holy shit. And Are we then, the same person? Probably. <laughs> um, because that's almost exactly how my experience went. Soho, dragon roll, mm-hmm. almost vomited. I think a good uh, policy, and I think it would be a good show or something if it was, uh, just getting the number one or the uh-huh. the signature item of the yeah. place and go to a bunch of different places. Is that like, not a thing? If they can't do the number one well, then, what's the then point? that yeah. spells true of the rest of the menu, probably. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Like yeah that's garden. like going to fucking Taste of India and getting the lamb korma. It's like, mm-hmm. nope, get the chicken tikka masala. Yeah, that's like, yeah, that's the Big Mac. When Especially Elijah, if you've <laughs> never had Indian food. Yeah. Oh, well, Elijah's first time going to Olive Garden, he got like uh, <laughs> this fucking weird seafood uh, like pasta it. thing. And he was like, this is the worst thing I've ever had. I'm like, you don't like any of this stuff. Why did you get this? And God forbid the service like be like slightly off. He's like, oh my God. <laughs> I would never let this happen at Wendy's. <laughs> like every time. Well, you guys want to get started? It's 1230. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Please. <laughs> this has been the longest conversation about food. Yeah. But Slightly I, shorter than the lethal weapon conversation. We like I, to I, talk I, to you guys. <laughs> it's fine. Sorry you don't enjoy our company. Yeah. But I do. That's like what it feels Panera. like every time. You're like, can we hurry this up? Oh, <laughs> it doesn't hurt deal to with sit. You. Mm-hmm. These chairs are garbage. I kept thinking it was going to be like, yep, anyway, here we go. <laughs> and like, then it's like, yep, know that other food place. Damn. All lot. right, let's get started. A lot of food talk. Panera's good, though. I enjoy Al's company. I like Panera. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? About this other restaurant. <laughs> yeah. Have we not covered every single restaurant in oh, the Cedar Valley? Oh, not even close. We haven't even talked about onion ring towers. Okay, I do. Bloomin' <laughs> onions. There's Bloomin a whole onion. Onions. Oh, yeah. Dude, uh, <laughs> fucking Longhorn's onion blossom is oh, really good. good. I do we not always like mushrooms. mushrooms. So. I do not want too. onion, fried onion shit. I generally don't want. All right, I can't stuff. trust your opinion anymore. <laughs> we were cool, written off, and then yeah, that <laughs> sentence just. Where fucked did it we up. go last weekend? I had the Reuben with the corn casserole. Mm. That's what I should have got. It was so fucking good. That sounds Anytime good. I go there, I get the corn casserole because it's so good. What is I haven't had it in so long. I don't even know. I know there's corn. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? I, I believe so. But honestly, other than that, I'm just like, I don't care. It, it, like, don't Come tell on. me. Because what if it's rat feces? Yeah. I, and fuck. you just I love don't. rat feces. Exactly. It's like, oh, no, this opens up a whole new part of my life. <laughs> and then you just go into alleyways, picking up rats and sucking <laughs> off their butts. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> like a toothpaste. Oh, stop. <laughs> you have to roll it up. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Of course, it's scratching yeah. and biting all the way. <laughs> let's get started on Dungeons and Dragons. You guys are in a fucking oh, esophagus yeah, right now. <laughs> Speaking of very bullshit. topical. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'd like to see an X-ray of Danny DeVito. That'd be a wild looking. Wow. That'd be wild. I'd watch that colonoscopy. <laughs> <laughs> It's unfortunate they don't keep you awake because then you could watch it. I woke up. You did? <gasps> and I was watching it. Wow. And I they told me that could happen and not to like, you know. Not to like, scream and wiggle. <laughs> ah! But I was like, ooh, Break I feel off. like I would if that happened. But I woke up and I just remember like watching the screen and I was like, that's cool. And <laughs> I could just hear their calm voices talking behind me and. It felt really relaxing. Mm. Well, there you it go. was like I was not even part of my body. There's an endorsement, nice. everyone. <laughs> Get a colonoscopy. I was unconscious and remembered nothing. Speaking, Whatever drug they give you is doors. amazing. <laughs> and then they show you the pictures afterwards. I love like, the pictures. The anesthesia. You like anesthesia? It was my first time. Tight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then, but I was drowsy for like days. Uh-huh. Yeah, we like went to get Chinese food afterwards, and she like came to at the end of our lunch. Because <laughs> <laughs> like she was just like looking around, smiling, and we we're ch- talking a bunch. And then uh, after like after we got in the car, she was like, "Yeah, I only remember like the end parts. <laughs> like <laughs> everything else is really fuzzy." You were talking about your future together, <laughs> your, your ideal lives. <laughs> she just doesn't Where, remember. Where'd this ring come from? <laughs> 
proposed to write a Chinese They found it place. in the colonoscopy. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> That's your problem. That's, oh, you found my O-ring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Um, <laughs> yeah, the ladies... As a, this is a few weeks ago now, but the older ladies, they're probably in their 60s or 70s at like three tables back, were convinced that they had coronavirus because they both had sore throats. <laughs> and they were talking about it. I was like, mm, I feel like you don't have coronavirus. Now they may have had coronavirus. I think I've edited out a my butt hurts from Lindsay from the last two episodes. <laughs> we really need new chairs. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? What happened at 23 minutes, 61 seconds? <laughs> what is Willem's birthday? How much oh, do you like Vertical sorry. Horizon? <laughs> Nobody got the 61 seconds. Okay. That's okay. No. No, what? What? Ha, ha, ha. Thank you. I don't get it. 61? What is it? I said 23 minutes, 61 seconds. March, October 11th? I don't know. What does it mean? What? There's only 60 seconds in a minute, so. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. It'll be 24 minutes. (laughs) One second. What was that at Expo, the fraction thing? I just, that was way over my head. Do not spend time. Uh, What time is it? 7391. (laughs) Uh,. I think it was like five fourths of people don't understand fractions, and I, I just went over to you. I'm like, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> then I was like, I belong here. <laughs> this alternative high school. You know what they say? There are two kinds of people in the world: those that can extrapolate, extrapolate from, from incomplete, incomplete data. data. Anyway, let's get started. I'm really good at elementary math. <laughs> Boo! <gasps> <laughs> Into the mic. Classy. Yeah. yeah, that was loud. I keep it classy. Why didn't we do this on our Halloween episode? Our spooky. Halloween. <laughs> Halloween. 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 Happy Halloween. <laughs> Hanukkah-ween. It is still snowing. 